what's up guys it's samantha the get it done girl thanks for joining me in this video today i'm sharing with you the step-by-step -step process i use to create journals in powerpoint you can sell these journals on amazon kdp or other marketplaces like creative fabrica and etsy if you find the content invaluable please subscribe to my channel and do hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted once another video goes live. Let's get into our tutorial. As you can see, I already have PowerPoint opened up. My canvas is blank and it's ready to receive some creativity. Now what I'm going to do first is to adjust the slide so that it reflects the trim size I'm working on for my journal. To do this, I'm going to hit the design tab and locate the slide size feature and select custom slide size. The size of my book is seven and a quarter or 7.25 by nine inches. So let's go ahead and put that information in. The next step is to adjust the margins. Now for this book, I will not be using a bleed, which means that the lines I will be creating will not be going across the page. So we definitely need to ensure that we have our margins so that we are guided as to where the lines should appear on the slide. So to do this, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to enable my ruler, grid lines, and guides. Now, this is an awesome feature because it gives me all the perspective and organization I'm going to need to ensure that the lines are accurate and my space is, and my space is on par. So, the next step is to open this little dialog box here, grid and guidelines. And what this is going to allow me to do is to adjust my margins. So for this particular notebook, my margin is going to be half of an inch or 0 0.5. And as you can see on the screen, it's already adjusted to this feature. So click OK. Let me zoom just to ensure that you can see what is happening. So what I'm going to do is to just draw some lines on the screen or even put a border to ensure that I know where my margin starts and where it ends. So let's select the insert feature and let's add a rectangle to where I want my margins to be. Let me zoom out so we have a better view of the slide. Let's see. So this, so this is where my margin is going to start for this, and this is where it's going to end. So this is what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do is to remove the fill. I'm going to add the outline black and I'm going to remove the fill so I'm able to see what I'm working on. So this is this is going to be removed eventually. It's just to give, give me a guideline as to what it is that I'm working with. So after creating my margins, I am going to adjust the grid size to align the lines properly. So I'm working with college ruled lines, which is 0 0.2812. So to activate this feature, I am simply going to right click and I'm going to select the grid and guides feature. And this is the pop-up box again that we already met before. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the spacing size. And this is the box you want to adjust. So it's 0 0.2812. Hit the OK option. And as you can see, the grids look a lot different on the page. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding my lines to ensure that the notebook or the journal comes together. So go back to the insert feature, locate shapes, and this time we want a line. So I'm just going to draw a line across the page. And I'm going to stop it right here where my margins begin, begin and end. So this is what my first line looks like. I am also going to make some changes to this line. So I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to format the shape. I'm going to change the color to a gray. Whatever shade of gray you choose, that depends on what you are trying to accomplish. It is fine. I'm also going to change the width to about 1.75 points or PT. I'm also going to add a transparency of about 70%. So as you can see, the line gradually fades. I'm going to go ahead and add another line. You can do this by clicking on the one that's on screen and using the Control and C option to copy and then Control V to paste. And simply align the line along the grid line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste another line and I'm going to add this one to the bottom because I'm going to use the lines to separate my margins because if I'm going to remove the border that is here on the screen so it's easier for me to get around. So this is where the line is. I'm going to put it right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. So these are the lines I have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these two lines that are already on the page and I'm going to press the control feature button and using the left side of my mouse I'm going to drag down to copy the lines that are there. See? So two more lines have been added so I'm just going to highlight these four lines and I'm going to do the same thing. Control, left click on my mouse and drag down to copy everything. See, more lines. I'm going to repeat the process until I have all the lines on the pages. That's it, I have all my lines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deactivate my grids, my rulers, so that only the lines remain on screen. So I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to disable those grids. And as you can see, this is what the interior looks like thus far. If you want to add more to the lines, you can go ahead and do so. But I think this is perfect to what I'm looking to accomplish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate or copy and paste the slides because this book or this journal will have 192 pages. It will have 190 writing pages, but you may want to add a section for name or whatever it is that you want to include in your journal. If you want to trim the page, the page size, sorry, if you want to trim, trim how many pages you add to this journal, you, you could cap it at, let's say, 110 or even 120. That is totally up to you. But for this journal, it is going to be 192 pages or 190 pages. So let me go ahead and duplicate that. Copy, paste, Highlight, copy, paste, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So far I have 132. So I'm just going to keep copying and pasting. I have 64. So to quicken the process, simply click the Control A feature to highlight all the slides you have. 
and click control and then paste. So now I have 120. So now I'm going to control paste. I now have 256. So what I'm going to do is to just highlight a few and then delete those slides to get to what I want. deleting until I'm at 190. I'm deleting. Oops. I've deleted too much. I'm now at 67 slides. So let's do this again. So I'm now at 134. And I'm now at 201. So let me just go ahead, delete a few more slides until it gets to 190. There it is, 190 slides, and these will be the pages of the journal. So now that my interior is complete, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to save the file as a PDF, or you could simply export as a PDF. So let me go ahead and Rename this journal interior. And I'm going to create a folder to put it on my desktop. Journal interior. Where did my page go? All right, let's do this again. New folder, journal, interior. Oh, I think I already have the file there. So let me just locate it and add it to that section, journal, interior. So this is where my journal will be kept. And it's converting from PowerPoint to PDF. The file should be created. So let's go ahead and locate the file so we can have a look at the PDF. It's on my desktop. Hold on, let's go to quick access to see the recent files I've worked on. Here it is, journal interior. And I'm going to open this in Adobe. I'm going to zoom out to see what it looks like. And I'm going to zoom in at 100%. So this is what the journal looks like. If you think the lines are too thick, you can always come back and adjust the line by using format shape and adjusting the width. I had it set at 1.75 pt but you could always adjust it to your liking. So this is how you create a journal, the step-by-step -step process to creating a journal to publish on Amazon KDP or sell on marketplaces. That's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, if you've learned anything, do subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.